Significant changes are underway for real estate photographers going into 2023. This isn't necessarily good news. There's a lot of stuff that was quietly going on behind the scenes in 2022, but I want to give you a full picture of what's going on, what's been changing, what to look for in 2023, how to protect yourself from that, and also some other bigger changes that are coming down the road. So what happened during 2022 was kind of a silent, quiet crash with the listing market. So when we take a look at stock values from Zillow, for instance, they dropped by nearly 50% over 2022 and Redfin dropped almost 90%, basically making its value worthless. So a lot of these listing sites being in jeopardy means that they need to diversify to become competitive. And diversification in this case is just another way of saying that they need to take somebody else's money. They need to take somebody else's work away from them. That's where we come in as real estate photographers because Zillow leading the pack on this is making some significant changes. So whether you like Zillow, doesn't really matter. Zillow is the leader when it comes to listing service websites here in the US. And they just, everybody else just pales in comparison. And the big driver for that was their Z estimate. So people were relying on them that, sure, I could go to any of these other websites and do some searches, but Zillow would tell me what the property should be worth. That's something else I'll touch on here in a little bit because there's bigger changes that are happening with Zillow and they're not putting their focus on that anymore. Even though the Z estimate will still exist, doesn't mean that's what they're trying to do to play catch up. So instead, some other big things are happening that are sure to follow with other type of listing websites. So near the end of 2022, Zillow quietly didn't really announce it very loudly they completely discontinued their Zillow Certified Photographer program. So for all the photographers that work to become a Zillow Certified Photographer, it is now meaningless. It means nothing. Now, the photographers are disparaged, but Zillow doesn't care about that. Zillow cares about its bottom line and photographers weren't making them money. So instead, Zillow is putting a lot of concentration on their 3D home. Now, you might recall this from a recent video. I've got other videos related to this, by the way, in the description for this video. But in a video when I was talking about add-ons that Zillow also discontinued their video upload service. So a lot of changes are happening with Zillow and Zillow always has this not everything we touch turns to gold type of concept. Their iBuyer program a few years ago when they were gonna be flipping houses, they bought like 9,000 houses, ended up selling only 3,000, lost about uh, $300 million, laid off about a quarter of their staff because of it. So anyways, they're scrambling. They're backed into a corner because traffic really backed off in 2022 across these various listing sites. Everybody had layoffs. Realtor.com had layoffs. Redfin had layoffs. Zillow had layoffs, not just back when they got rid of the iBuyer, but also during 2022. But the 3D home that they're concentrating on on Zillow, that is just kind of a shell game in a way because what they really didn't want everybody to know right up front until I'm sure it was final, probably for good reason, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, is that they're going under a larger umbrella called Showing Time Plus. And what that means is that they now wanna become a one-stop shop for everything that it would take to be a seller or buyer or agent. And what that includes is to be able to provide real estate media, meaning photographers, and also virtual tours and floor plans and video and aerial work, all that stuff. And you might think, well, they did have photographers before that they could refer you to with the Zillow Certified Photographer Program. Not anymore. What they're doing now is they partnered up with VRX Media. So VRX Media, if that doesn't sound familiar, what that is, that's another one of those photo mills. I call them photo mills. There's quite a few out there. They're large companies, you've probably run across this, where they advertise like crazy, and then they hire desperate photographers to go out for next to nothing and shoot a property. Now, there's a lot of problems with that, and we can discuss that here as I go down the road a little bit more on this particular problem, because there is an attrition issue that goes with it, but here's the key. 
is that by Zillow wanting to go after and having a full partnership with providing photographers from a single media source, they're becoming a monopoly. Not only will they be able to provide by changing their video upload service and their 3D home and all that, not only will Zillow provide their own virtual tours, not only will Zillow provide their own floor plans, they'll also provide their own photographers who can do video and aerial work, everything. So what does that mean for you? Where does that leave you as a photographer? Well, that's when things could come into a bigger problem as we move throughout the year in 2023. First off, it'll be interesting to see if there are any antitrust lawsuits that eventually come up against Zillow because of what they're trying to promote. Now, Rex had a lawsuit here uh, last year, a couple years ago, really didn't go anywhere, where they went after uh, Zillow and also the uh, National Association of Realtors, eh, some unfair practices, they weren't getting enough of the share. Well, the same thing could eventually happen, but I'm not going to count on that. What I am going to count on is something that is almost inevitable to happen with Zillow because they're not the first company to try to do something like this when they're backed into a corner, they're hungry, and they're desperate. It's something known as the big switch. Something will change in technology and it's starting to happen. I'll get to that in just a second. To explain some of this, why that would happen is remember that Zillow, Redfin, Trulia, Realtor.com, they all are basically the same thing, at least for one big 90% common denominator, and that is that they do searches based off criteria. So you put in how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, price range, zip code, stuff like that, and out pops a list of homes for you. And they can prioritize those based off of, did one of our photographers go out there and do this? Well, that's where some of the fair business practice stuff may come into. But here's the bigger thing. Zillow was the leader and has been the leader because of one thing, and that's the Z estimate. So being able to go there and get this kind of an appraisal type of view, then that can help, but that brought in a lot of traffic. But now there's something else that's coming along, and that's AI, and a big one that's coming out, it just started making big inroads this year with their development, is RESTB.AI. And what RESTB.AI does, it's a little bit different. They can analyze millions of photos constantly. And what they can do then is find similar houses. So you're searching for a house. You find something that's close to you. You like the kitchen. But are there any other houses nearby that have similar kitchens? Well, restb.ai can find that for you. So all that it's going to take is for another startup, another service to say, we can compete against Zillow because of one principle in business, we can do it better. So Zillow, like everybody else right now, is relying on this categorical search. I put in a few parameters, they're really common, and I find something. That's old database stuff that goes back to the 1960s. There's nothing new about that. The Z estimate, Anybody could come up with that. We could sit down over a weekend, me and a few other engineers, which I used to be a software engineer, by the way, years ago. We could come up with that algorithm. That's no biggie. They just happen to have a large database to do that from. The AI engine, that is bigger tech. There's no way that Zello is going to be able to turn that around overnight. Now, here's something else, though, that could happen, is that Zillow could invest in a company like RustB.ai. Can they? Well, they've already made some big acquisitions lately to come under this bigger umbrella of showing time plus. I don't know if they'd have the time to really play catch up to be able to implement something like that, but that's also just the tip of the iceberg. That's the known known. And as Donald Rumsfeld once said many years ago, we have the known knowns, the things we know that we don't know, and the things we don't know that we don't know. So there's only certain things that we do know right now, and REST BAI could be an interrupter, but not the only one. You have to look back at history, and if you're old enough, you might have heard of GeoCities or MySpace.com, and then Facebook came in and ate their lunch. They just aren't around. By the way, I did interview once for GeoCities way back in the, the 1990s, and it went nowhere. Anyways, wasn't impressed with them. Long story short, though, that's for another time. It was in a whole different lifetime before I was doing photography full time. But when you have something like a uh, Facebook that comes out, well, they'll start eating up all these companies. Will all of them be successful? Well, Facebook bought up Instagram. Hey, that's great. But 
along came TikTok. And now Instagram wants to be TikTok, Facebook wants to be TikTok, and they're just playing catch up and they're losing traffic as a result. Facebook's uh, meta, meta was a great example. Hey, we'll all live in a virtual world and look like cartoon characters. <laughs> that didn't go very far and it's still not. They're losing money like crazy off that. Anyways, the disruptors in the marketplace do sometimes get picked up by somebody else. TikTok was a great example of that. Why would you join the losing team? So when you're looking for startup venture capital, when you're a company like restb.ai, sometimes partnerships are a great way to go, but it doesn't mean that you get swallowed up by a giant that just laid off 25% of its staff and got devalued by 50% over the last year. So I find it doubtful that companies like restb.ai being leading edge, I mean cutting edge technology, all of a sudden jump on the Zillow bandwagon. These companies like VRX Media, and by the way, I'm not bagging on VRX Media and their quality, but photo mills like this, they're nothing new. There's no cutting edge technology. They're just a human resource to be able to throw bodies out there at houses with cameras to take pictures. Which leads up to what you can do to protect yourself. Now remember, photo mills themselves, they compete on price which isn't everything. Yeah, there's quality, which is good, but there's a huge thing on customer support. So here's the big thing. One, if you wanna protect yourself as this is going forward in 2023, is you need to be better than the competition. And in this case, the competition is becoming Zillow. Zillow, even if they don't use VRX media, they'll just use another photo mill. So VRX Media may at some point need to raise their prices or they don't deliver. They can't negotiate whatever it is that they provide to Zillow. Zillow dumps them, gets somebody else. So you just need to be better than the photo mills that are out there. But you also need to provide all the services. Doesn't mean you do them yourself. You can partner with other people that do and farm some of this out, but you need to provide not just photos, but you need to provide video drone, you need to provide virtual tours, you need to provide floor plans. So you need to pr provide all these things so that you are the one stop shop. And above all else with this is you need to provide better customer support. And that's an easy thing to do because these desperate photographers that are being just thrown around all these properties by these companies like VRX Media that don't pay them like an independent photographer would be, then you're not gonna get the same level of support because they just can't spend the time and put the effort into these various clients. And quite honestly, they don't have any skin in the game. When you're an independent contractor, a photographer like myself, then yeah, you've got skin in the game. It's your reputation as a person, not just a business. But a second thing that you really need to do in 2023 is I'd recommend looking at your listings and keeping an eye on your listings on Zillow. Now Zillow keeps changing where videos are gonna show up, where tours are gonna show up and all that, but if you find that you have a listing that you did photos and a tour for and that tour is not showing up or your floor plans are not showing up or for instance, your videos are not showing up, then you might wanna contact your MLS or talk to your client about this as well for them to go to the MLS to have them push back on Zillow. This is antitrust type stuff. So you need to have that in there. Now, Zillow is saying that, for instance, videos, they'll put in the facts and figures section of the listing, <laughs> which is crazy. That's just their way of saying, eh, it's there. You can't sue us for it because we did provide it. But technically speaking, will it get the same exposure? If they use VRX Media or they use some other vendor or they use their 3D home or whatever it is, well, that comes into question. So staying on top of this and getting pushback from the right people, which in this case would be your clients and the MLS, then that would at least help moving forward. But a third thing, and this is real important, is you need to stay on top of what's happening with this shift in the market. Whenever a company like this is desperate and they get hungry, they're gonna fight even more red in tooth and claw. So we need to stay on top of that. I will definitely, this is right now December 2022. I'm gonna see what happens over the next few months as new things develop. I'll post new videos here on this channel and as they do also, and I need to, and you're watching this, it's later than when I put this out, then I'll have also those links down in the description for this video. In the meantime, I hope everyone 
everyone has a great holiday season here, 2022 into 2023. If you are watching this video later, I hope this has been a good year for you so far. If you do have questions regarding any of this, please leave some comments down below. Either way, until next time, take care, be safe, and get out there and shoot something.